What's going on folks, just before we jump into the video, which I have already recorded, um, I actually got into a call with the leading um, developer for Scum and got a few things incorrect in the video that I want to correct at the end and a couple of changes that they want to make that I think you guys are going to be really, really excited about. So don't forget to stick around till the end guys, thank you. What's going on folks and welcome to another Scum video, I hope you're all doing well, thank you very much for your ongoing support, always appreciate it, so thank you very much guys. Now. I'm hoping to give you guys a better understanding about how the flag system works. Now, if there's any update to this, obviously there will be a video posted. Um, and if, there any, if there's anything that needs correcting, I will post in the comments section and pin it down below. Because there's a few things, there's a couple of things that I'm not entirely sure about. But I'm going to give you the basics of how the flag system works. Okay, so we found ourselves a nice little location to build. <clears throat> now what we're going to do... Because there's some really cool things here you guys really need to know. Now, if you've played armor or anything like that before, then you will have no you, you will know how sort of the flag system works. Uh, the flag is correlated to the owner, so that whoever lays that flag is that person's base. Now, what we do, now if you go into uh, the menu, go into crafting, scroll right to the bottom, you can see just under my webcam there, you can see the four flags. Now each of these flags, they are different colours for different reasons. I'm not sure about this entirely, but I will put this in the comments down below. I will pin this when I find out, I promise you guys. Um, and the hotfix we're going to jump into in a minute and just have a little look-see and see what they say about these things. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to lay a flag down for the moment. So what you do is you choose your flag, and as you can see there is a perimeter. There is a 50 meter ring. So what we're going to do is we're just going to lay the flag there, press F. Now, here's a couple of things I want to talk to you guys about. So, I've now laid that flag. I haven't built it yet, but that flag is now mine. Until destroyed, it is now mine. Now, if anyone decides to somehow break into my base, pick my locks, etc. to get in, and destroy my flag, they can then reclaim the base, put some locks on, it's all theirs. So, you have the 50 meter radius here. This is the 50 meter radius ring, so to speak. I think it's a ring anyway, pretty much outside. So... Anything that you build inside the ring is yours. This is this is this is the con to the, the conclusion that we've we've come to. So pretty much everything inside this ring is the owners of that flag over there in the middle. Anything on the outside, if you do extend your base to go on the outside, it can be destroyed. So people can just walk up to it with an axe and start destroying pieces of your base. So you don't really want your base to be that big. I mean, this is the thing. You want your base to be sort of compact. You want it somewhere to store loot. You don't want to let the whole server know exactly where your base is. And this is a great way to sort of show... I like this ring here because it does show you where you can and can't build. Now, if someone manages to get into the base, which, bear, bear, bear this in mind... Players can build within your ring. They can build inside this. But whatever they build will be yours. So it's pointless that other people are going to be building within your ring. And the thing is as well, is because you're the owner of the flag, if anyone decides to want to start blocking your doorway with stuff like that, which I'm guessing they can still do, you can just destroy it because you have got that flag there. Anything within a 50 meter radius is yours. So if they, someone tries to troll you by building a wall, you can just destroy it. So hopefully that will deter people from being douchebags. Um, now what we're going to do, um, we're going to start building this. So you need 10 scrap, you need 10 rags, you need 2 bolts, and you need a toolbox. So let's start putting this. Hopefully I've got enough stuff. Um, okay, we need 3 more scrap. So if I just go here, let's just spawn the scrap in. Just 3 more scrap. Because obviously I am doing it on um, single player here. So we just spawn 3 more of them. Hopefully we can get that in now. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to pick these up first. So let's complete the flag, shall we? Right, there we go. So, we, no, I don't want to destroy it. So you, obviously you can destroy it by holding F over, over it as well. Um, so you have to try and remember where that 50 meter radius is. You see, now this is this is great because this the whole flag system will deter other people from building in your area. So if anyone, like I, said, like I just said, if anyone builds within your 50 meter ring that you've got around your flag... That is going to be yours if they build inside. So it's pointless that other people are going to build near a base. They're going to want to go and find their own location on the map somewhere else. And as I said before, if they do try to troll you by building something uh, like a wall in front of your door, you can simply just destroy it because you can destroy anything within that 50 meter ring. But if you build out of it, that can be destroyed easily. So there's no point building outside the ring unless you place multiple flags as well. Um, 
there is a time, I think it's four weeks. Is it four weeks when everything is fully degraded? So within that time, you do need to make sure to keep uh, your base sort of, uh, you know, uh, keep the upkeep of all your all, all of your uh, buildings, like the wood, the planks, logs, and all that shit as well. So you need to make sure to keep all that um, done. Now, obviously, once I've got my flag here, if someone does break in through your locks on your base and they do destroy your flag, so you want to keep your flag protected, you want that really right in the center um, and just have it really well kept because if someone just goes up to it and then they just see your flag there um, and destroy it like this they can then take over um, your base which you don't want to do let's go and check out the hotfix and uh, the QRL editions we'll have a quick look at that um, and see what they say about this stuff okay so this is the actual hotfix the link is in the description below if you guys want to go through it I'm not going to go through everything here but there is a few things that have changed um, and they have changed for the better um, let's just have a look here. Let's just see what they've said. Fixed female skeletal body parts and bra. There's little things like that. It's all it's the little things that make the biggest difference. Uh, adjusted bow three and five pin sights to 200 grams weight. Uh, corrected animations for anticipate draw montage and a load of other things there. Um, fixed crashes relating to weapon attachments. Improvised toolboxes now require nails and bolts for crafting. Before only one of those was needed. So the QOL editions, quality of life. This is this some pretty cool things here. Um, so they've done some small optimizations from the client side. Animals won't try to attack the player if he's in or on a vehicle. Uh, players won't take melee damage if inside the vehicle. Um, increased base render distance to 1,000 meters. So you can now see a base within a 1,000 meter radius. So if you want to try and go for those 1,000 meter headshots while someone's doing a base, then you know, you've got the opportunity. Uh, disabled building platforms on other players' walls. So stuff like this. Um, you can't go and build something on someone else's wall to try it and get into their base. So you can't do this. So even though you can build within someone's uh, within someone's ring, you can't build platforms on other players' walls. So they've really sort of mixed and matched how these things work to try and make it the best they can for the, the, the player building his or her base. Um, the large toolbox rarity decreased from common to uncommon. Small, top, small toolbox rarity decreased from abundant to common. So it was quite hard to find them. Increase the base element full DK time to four weeks. So I was right, it is four weeks. So if you build a whole base, if you don't upkeep it, it within four weeks, everything will be gone. Um, new 10 songs on the radio, that's pretty cool. Uh, can't gain experience or fame points inside safe zones now. Uh, let's go down to the, there should be the, ba here we go, the base building stuff's here. Um, weapon durability no longer influences its attack damage. Uh, handles and blades of sharp weapons now have the same armor penetration values to balance out the melee fighting experience uh, and also reworked all melee weapon stats all have increased damage blunt weapons now have a knockout chance per hit added sharpness penetration values to all sharp weapons so weapons hits should produce correct sound based on their material as well new damage system is explained so total weapon damage is calculated by the following formula weapon damage plus melee skill plus strength so obviously you have the weapon damage um, which is obviously um, individual to every uh, melee weapon. Um, now you need to obviously have your melee skill up and your strength up. So if you want to just make you want to go around hitting Zeds or people, make sure to have your melee skill up and um, or your um, your melee and your strength as well. Um, so there's some numbers to crunch there. Obviously you can see it gets a bit confusing. So if we go to the base building, now this is this is the stuff that we're on about for this video mainly. One of the bigger things to come in these notes is the flag system that will be the new way of handling base element owners. You will be able to craft a flag and every base build element in a radius of 50 meters from that flag will belong to the flag owner. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, every base element outside, outside of flag influence will not belong to anyone and everyone can interact with it, open, close or even destroy. I'm guessing it's going to be destroyed because that's that you will be able to do that outside. Um, different colours are used. This is, now, this is where I get a bit confused because it's not explained too well here, to be fair, um, unless you guys can elaborate on it. Different colours are used as indicators when building in the influence range of the flag. So, green is when you place a blueprint under friendly influence. Yellow is when you try to place a blueprint with enemy influence, which means if you build there, that item will belong to the player um, that has the flag. So, I... <laughs> I don't know if I'm being a complete idiot here, but I am getting a little bit confused by this. So I need to get some elaborate. I need to elaborate this with the devs themselves. I need to find out 
um, exactly what these are and then put that in the description when I find out. Um, a flag can be destroyed with any chopping tool via interaction. When a flag is destroyed, all base elements under its influence become ownerless. So like I said, if you get through the base, pick the locks, get into someone's base, destroy their flag, no one owns that base. Now, if you try to lay a flag, then you could potentially take over a base, I'm guessing. Um, that may or may not work, but I'm guessing that's that's the way. Uh, we will have a transition period for flags, so your existing bases don't get claimed by random people placing flags. So there is apparently a seven-day transition, from what I've heard. So obviously you have servers right now with um, older builds. That's why every server should be wiped right now. Um, so that's what you need to do. You need to just wipe your servers to just make everything a lot easier. Uh, otherwise, it's just going to get really confusing. Um, okay, let's jump straight back in the game quickly. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much it in terms of the base building stuff and the flag system. Like I said, there's a couple of bits I've got to put down below in the description for you once I find out, and I will pin those. Um, I'll find out as much information as I can about the colours of the flags as well. Um, and if there's anything else that you can or can't do, I will put it in there and pin it. Um, so hopefully this video would have helped you out a little bit on how the flagpole works. Now, there's a lot of other games that use the flagpole system as well. It keeps it fair, and at the end of the day, what you want to do is you want to build a base, you want it to be safe, um, unless someone picks through your locks, etc., rather than people building around your base to try and get in, which I understand some people like that, but at the end of the day, we've got to keep this fun, and base building is somewhere you want to keep your stuff safe. So, if anything, get your lock picking skills up, guys, because that's what you're going to need to get in and through um, at certain places. Or you could be very, very cheeky and not have a door and just build a wall, destroy it and rebuild it every time you go in or out of it. But that is going to be a bit time consuming, um, to be fair. Now, as I said, link is in the description to this update. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Um, if you did, please give us a subscribe, maybe hit a thumbs up for me. would really appreciate that and leave a comment and uh, let's get a discussion going on the base building stuff. Because this is the first iteration of base building. There's been a few hot fixes and they have fixed this stuff pretty quick. Lever, one of the, uh, the top devs, he's the leading, uh, he's the co-founder and leading technical director for Scum um, at Gamepires. He was working 18 hours yesterday. 18 hours. So it shows you the dedication, the passion these guys are putting in. So we've got to give it to them for that. They have been absolutely working their butts off on this. So guys, thank you very much for taking the time of your day to watch this video. Stay safe. I'll catch you on the next stream, which will be tomorrow. And uh, stay safe. See you soon. Bye-bye. What's going on, guys? Thank you very much for making it this far into the video. Um, so basically what it is, there's a few changes and a few corrections that I'd like to just make here. So currently right now, within your 50 meter ring, players can build watchtowers and they can, you know, potentially jump into your base. But they want to, they want to eventually, maybe in the next patch, who knows, but they want to make it so no one can build within your ring whatsoever which is perfect because then no one can build within your 50 meter radius of your flagpole. So that's something I wanted to put there. So right now, no one can build platforms to get into your ring. Uh, no one can build platforms to get into your base, but they can build a watchtower there um, to try and jump over the wall. But eventually they want that like completely um, gone. Uh, what else was it? So currently right now, um, if someone breaks into your base via the locks, um, this is a bug that Lever just said he's going to get fixed ASAP. You can go up to the window and destroy the boxes through the cabin window. Um, but they're going to make sure that you can't do that at all whatsoever. So at the moment, until that fix comes in, just build some logs, etc. up to the window. Um, and another correction is you can't currently take a base over. And with the red, um, red, green, yellow, white flags, right now they technically all do the same thing. They don't actually have a difference in each of the flags. They haven't set it out yet. Um, they've tried to explain it, but I, but I did say to him, is it the same for each flag and does the same thing? So right now it's yes. Each flag will just give you a 50 meter radius. There we go, guys. Have a great day. Stay safe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.